So we're going to do a quick unboxing video of Harbor Freight's Thunderbolt solar panel series. This is a brand new one in 2021. It's a 100 watt panel, single panel this time. Unlike their previous uh, kit that came with a lot of uh, accessories to connect it up, kind of a starter kit, this is just a panel and a lot of people have been interested in this. So monocrystalline 100 watt panel. Uh, we'll look in, into it, uh, do a better review inside, and then take it outside. Um, I think a lot of people might like this because a lot of the items in the previous uh, kit weren't um, that interesting. This is going for $100 um, in June 2021, but uh, I do think uh, you could apply a coupon and, and get quite a savings. So looking at the back here, there's some key... Uh, measurements and details. So first of all, uh, it weighs 15 pounds. It's one inch thick, 36 inches long, 26 inches wide. Much more compact than Harbor Freight's previous uh, solar panel kit. Um, it generates up to 5.5 amps in ideal conditions. And it does have um, the ability to be um, mounted with the uh, pre-drilled holes on the frame. That's pretty much it on the back here. So here's the panel out of the box. It looks like a lot better build quality than previous Harbor Freight uh, panels. Um, I'll just kind of show you a zoom in here, pan down. Okay, a couple things. Um, Definitely the frame is more robust than the past. It has these uh, plastic kind of reinforcements on the corners. Um, constructions, you know, feels better than the past ones for sure. Let's take a look at the back of it. So looking at the back of the panel, pretty simple. Um, def it has these uh, stands, which are movable. I'm gonna leave it out so we can look behind here. Other than the stands, um, you could note that they have uh, mounting holes already pre-drilled if you did want to mount it um, you know, on a roof or something. Okay, and then let's look here at the back, which is basically the only thing you really mess with besides the legs for it. Um, it has a standard SAE cable. Um, you know, these aren't the most common for solar panels these days, but they're cheap and easy to get. Okay, and it looks like they have some IP60 um, rated water resistant connectors. So that's pretty much it for the back of the panel. Okay, so this is the new Harbor Freight 100 watt solar panel, single panel kit out here in the sun on my favorite workbench. I've got the legs uh, extended here. You can see back behind simple legs there. And I've gone ahead and hooked up a multimeter to its included cable. And I've got it set on amperage. So we're just trying to see how much current is being put out right now. So right now we're at about 4.5, 4.48 amps. And it's not in the best of sunlight, but it's not bad. Today is July 4th, so uh, it's a nice summer day. 4.4 amps. Uh, overall, I gotta say the panel is really easy to set up. Um, 15 pounds, not too heavy. Um, you know, it, it is different to have these SAE style connectors that you see here, but you know what? It's fine and it's cheap. I'm not looking to buy a hundred of these and, and power my house. This will be nice for an emergency, for camping, for the cabin. I think it'll do just fine. So let's take a look at it and see uh, what voltage we're getting right now. Okay, so we've got the voltmeter setting now. And at the moment, we are getting uh, 20.7 volts. A minute ago, I was seeing 22 volts. So it looks like the, uh, the voltage is as expected. 
and the current we saw was about four point, close to 4.5 amps. So, you know, there's really not as much to review about this panel as the kit they had, because there's not much to it. Um, you can see the legs there behind. Um, other than the legs and the SAE connectors, and the fact that it's a 100 watt panel, that's about all I can show you right now. What I would like to show you is the other components that you would need to get in order to make a working set. So I'll make another video about that. Overall, you know, looking at my previous Harbor Freight solar panel video with the old kit, I think this is going to be a step in the right direction for many people because the price is lower now. Um, not, it's not for everybody, but I think for the price and for what I need it for, this will be a perfectly uh, good panel. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll hopefully be back with an update.